Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you a very simple way you can create 8-bit avatars or convert your photos into pixel art very easily. If you don't have Photoshop, Adobe is currently running a promotion where all the products are currently 60% off if you're a student or a teacher. So make sure to check that out. I'm also going to leave a link to a Photoshop playlist if you want to check out other Photoshop tutorials like this, as well as a link to my Discord channel if you guys want to connect with other creators. If you enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So this tutorial is quite simple. There's probably like three different steps. So the first thing you want to do is you want to posterize your image. So basically this will blend in the colors, basically simplify the image. So I recommend around four or five. I'm going to probably do four. You can always change this afterwards. And now you want to select on your photo. And before you even get started, you want your photo to be somewhat simple and have like a simple background or else the background and the subject are going to sort of blend together after you apply this effect. So make sure you have something where it's like either a white background or something like this where there's very little colors in the back. Like here there's only like two colors in the back, or three different types of blue. If you had like red, green, yellow in the back, it, it'd be very weird. So once you're done that, you want to go to image, image size, and where it says resolution, you want to basically lower it a bunch. Typically it's around 72 or 300. Um, but we want to lower it down to like 10, 8, 12, something around that range. So if we type in 8 right here and we zoom in on the preview, you can see it's super like blocky and chunky. Um, I don't like this too much because you can't really see the fine details like his eye. You can sort of see the structure, but there's just, but the blocks are just too big. So I'm going to do something like 14 maybe. I think this is a little bit better. So I'm going to press OK. So we zoom in. This is essentially the effect. Um, just to add on this a little bit and simplify this image even more, what you could do is you can go to image mode and you want to go to index color. Basically, uh, this will allow you to simplify the amount of colors. So right now there's 24 different colors in this photo. If you want to reduce it, maybe to eight, you're able to do that very easily. So where it says palette, you want to select local perceptual and you can lower it down to eight if you want. I think this is pretty cool. Um, However, I don't like how the skin tones look, so I might make it 12. But you can go up to like 100 something, I believe. So if you do 100, you see it gets a little bit more vibrant because there's more colors introduced. Um, but I'm going to go for like 12. So that's essentially it. Uh, the only issue that you run into now is if you go to image size, you can see it's only 117 by 73, which is a very small image. Um, that wouldn't even be like big enough for like a profile picture. So uh, what you could do, you want to go to image and then go back to mode and turn it back to RGB. And now you're able to uh, change the image size back. So before it was 72 pixels per inch. And you can see as you adjust the resolution, it also adjusts the width and height. So let's just say you want it 920. You're able to do that now, perfectly fine. You can also make some other adjustments. Like you could go pixel by pixel and adjust stuff. Like right here, his hair, it just turns from black to like red. So you can go ahead and select the brush tool, make it uh, 100 hardness, and you can sort of like select the color you want, sort of like brush over. But you would have to be pretty precise so that it still looks like blocky and it's not like smooth like this. Like this doesn't look uh, smooth. So it might be better to do these small changes when the image uh, resolution is 8 or like 10 or 12, something smaller, because there's going to be less blocks and bigger blocks. Um, and it might be easier to color everything in. And yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Check the links in the description for everything you need. And yeah, my name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.